Good morning, everybody. So, I expected this update to drop at 9 a.m., but they gave us an update early at 7 a.m., so here I am, my alarm set at 8.45 a.m., uh, ready to wake up, and the update's early. But the news is pretty much for today, the breaker. I was hoping for the eruptor on this list, but uh, the breaker will do. Out of the shotguns, the breaker was the fan favorite, I would say marginally OP, uh, shotgun at launch that just was the choice pick for shotguns every time. It had gotten its uh, power tuned way back, and it became, I'd say, a pretty low priority pick for most scenarios, because on bugs you would just pick the incendiary breaker, on bots you would pick something with better penetration. It has um, 13 shells currently in the game, so they're giving it an extra three shots. So it's going from 13 to 16 shots, and it staggers going up 50%, which supposedly is what it was like at launch. And I haven't seen what these guys My have to say about, about this And I'm Declan Today, so we're diving into in the patch notes of Helldivers 2. Have we finally reverted the breaker to what it was at launch? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> you got more. It actually got more stagger. Oh, nice. And 16 rounds per magazine. Yes. Nice. And no, we didn't also take away magazines. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Poor incendiary breaker. <laughs> now, that's the short news. So if you saw all you need to really know about the breaker, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the shotguns for a few minutes here. I did get one comment that bothered me. Someone said I went on too long about the railgun, but that was more of a discussion about the whole state of the game. I don't have to go into the state of the game because I know there's going to be a lot of news updates, so to talk about the state of the game every update is going to be too much because it's going to be an update every day. But to talk about the shotguns is something I have not really ever, I feel like, covered, and I don't use them that much, so it's not really something that my opinion, I feel like, is out there from many videos other than I made, like, a slugger video and I've made some cookout videos. The cookout isn't on this wiki page either, but I'm looking at it and I just realized. So, the slugger, I feel like it was in a good spot. Even though they gave it a little bit of a accuracy penalty for a slug shotgun, I mean, honestly, uh, the slug shotgun should not be a sniper rifle. But it should be powerful. I feel like it's in a good spot for its damage and stagger. The Punisher, I really like the Punisher. I'm glad this is a low-level weapon too, because... This punishes things at close range, literally, like its name. Uh, keeps uh, berserkers off of you. I like to call them meat saws, uh, little chainsaw guys and bots. And it's shell loaded. You get this early. You get this really early in the uh, war bond. So this is one of the first weapons that you start with. The breaker was very much one of my go tos early on. I would run. I think I ran breaker railgun shield pack a lot, and it. Uh, it's pretty common at launch. They were all three really powerful weapons. And I can see that becoming a thing again, actually, on bugs. Because uh, with the Breaker having a few extra shots and having the same amount of shells, you're going to get, you know, I don't know how many magazines the Breaker comes with. Almost like six or seven or something like that. So some roughly extra 20 shots to fire. Breaker Incendiary was super, super powerful. And then they reduced its mag size. So you had less of that special ammo. I'm fine with that. A lot of people lost their mind over the Breaker Incendiary nerf. I think as a specialty weapon with a wide cone of fire that covers the whole screen and requires, I'd argue, minimal skill to use because you can literally volley this. You can volley this gun from hundreds of meters away, tickle a bug with one round, and because the fire damage, the burn damage works because it didn't at launch for other people, uh, it'll kill those bugs. Like, there was a problem with fire burn damage at launch, and it did not work properly for anyone other than the host. So I would have lots of, like, fire doesn't work, uh, complaints from some of the people I was playing with at launch. But now it works great. Fire works great as a damage over time mechanic currently in the game. And so the Breaker Incendiary becomes a choice pick for bugs. The one that I still don't get, I don't know how they're ever going to put this in a good spot, is the Breaker Spray and Pray. So the, the OG Breaker has more stagger, it does more damage, and has more shells. And the Spray and Pray has the cone fire of the incendiary, you know, that big wide berth cone. Uh, 
it's got to fill some sort of niche. So the incendiary already covers the I want to hit everything on the screen for bugs and tickle and then burn them alive. Gets good damage with wide berth. And the regular breaker already gets the tight cone, you know, the tight cone actual damage. This is just like, it has the worst traits of both. So it does less damage than the regular breaker and it has the code of fire of the incendiary and it doesn't have any of the, any of the benefits of either. And I don't really know what the point is. And for me, what I would like to see for the breaker spray and pet prey is because the actual individual bullet damage is so low is have the reload time be the same or a little bit longer and just up the fire rate really fucking high and up the recoil really high so it becomes a kind of like like meme shotgun where it just f dumps the whole magazine extremely fast but it's hard to control you break clicking by accident um and last on this list which isn't pictured here which annoys me on this wiki page is the cookout and the cookout is a combo of the punisher and the breaker incendiary it's the best of both worlds. It has a tight cone. I think it's great. I think it's one of those... Per I think the cookout is the perfect warbond weapon from uh, Freedom Slam. It is set up really well. And it has the stagger of the Punisher. And it has the burn effects of the incendiary. But it has a tight cone like the Punisher. So it becomes this great utility weapon to keep enemies back. And there's only other one weapon that is, a, I guess, technically a shotgun. The Arc Blitzer. That has that great stagger effect to it. I mean, I'm sure the slugger does too to some degree, but the cookout, the punisher, and the arc blitzer all keep enemies way the hell off of you. I think the blitzer is in a perfect spot as well. I think the blitzer is a perfect weapon. It doesn't need to have any more range or damage or anything. It's exactly perfect the way it is. It's it's a great gun. I hope they don't change it at all because it's in a perfect spot. So that's my take on the shotguns, and I feel like the breaker buff. Is nice because it's kind of like, it's kind of a mid pick right now. And it makes things like, you know, the Punisher's an okay pick. The Incendiary is a good pick. It'll make the Breaker a great pick. The Cookout's also a great pick. But then you got like the, the Red-Headed Stepchild, which is the Breaker Spray and Prey. And then the kind of like, you should just take a Diligence Counter Sniper Slugger. Like, I don't really, I don't really know what to do with the Slugger because it will... Uh, encroach on uh, semi-auto and bolt action, you know, high caliber rifles, basically, if it's too strong and too accurate as a shotgun, but so I have no idea how to balance the slugger. It's like, I felt like it was a bit of a buff before when they increased its, uh, I can't remember if they increased, I think it was their damage. I did a video on it, and then I had some people be like, it's not a buff, it has Code of Fire now, and they're mad. Uh, but I'm excited because then I can start putting the breaker in regular use and increase stagger. I'll have to give it a shot on bots again as well. Um, it doesn't have great penetration, so to try and get through devastators isn't really isn't really ideal. But if with the new railgun changes, if you're fighting uh, bots, the breaker with its increased magazine and stagger force will probably be a uh, good chick or good blah, 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 good choice for. Uh, Berserkers coming up on you and little enemies. So you don't have to waste all of your railgun shots on trash guys and berserkers. They have a very high DPS, decent stagger weapon for close range. So you're definitely going to see me pull a breaker railguns already. Like, that's already on the menu. Like, I know what weapon's going to go for that, for that video for sure. I mean, coming in uh, five days here. September 17th, everybody. Tune in for the update. All these uh, all these updates and changes are slated for a really big update in the 17th, and we're going to keep getting news, and we're going to get more news later today. And sadly, since I had power outage yesterday, uh, the dives will be pretty light, because I'm not going to try and record day off. It's kind of hard to do that, to play, upload, make videos, and post videos in the same day in a timely manner with the way internet speed stuff works, so... You'll probably only see news, and then I have one video that I didn't get to yesterday that I was supposed to do and schedule out, but... So, expect some more news later today, expect a video after this, and then expect, uh, dives to start resuming tomorrow again, I guess. Peace out. Remember to, uh, 
like and subscribe if you like to hear these rants or if you like to see the uh, long form uncut gameplay because that is my goal is to share fun long form uncut gameplay of cooperative games that is the goal of this channel now and that's what i plan to post unless i'm posting some single player offshoot game is what i'm bored which i am not bored and there is a lot on the plate coming in terms of co-op between Helldivers and the early access release of the Forever Winter, which will be the other game that I'll be recording in addition to my Helldivers gameplay. So I will see you guys in a bit here.